both my tapirs are sick. But they don't need to go in for surgery, apparently. Oops. Well, he boxed one of them up. He's taking one. Hope he's okay. Taking him to the vet. Poor thing. Get him healthy. Does that mean you're taking him back? Nice. Still have one that's... Is he still sick? Yeah, it's the other one. And we have an inspector on site. <laughs> Just what I need. <laughs> Just what I need. An inspector here. When I've got a sick animal. Gotta do research. See, this is, and we only have three exhibits, but I love how the complexity starts to go up. Are you bringing back the second one? Excellent. So we should not have any more sick animals. Good. Very good. I kind of feel like we need I feel like we need another vet. I feel like we need staff. Poor guys, you've been, you both have been feeling a little sick. I don't know if it's going to make a big difference because you have a water tray, but I need to continue doing, I'm going to focus my vet efforts on you guys but the other thing I want to do is I want to make sure that water. Let's pause. Okay, where is it? I want a water treatment. Let's see how big of an. Because I also want to make sure that we. Because the water over there is turning. I'm going to need two of them to reach. Because we're going to need to be able to reach any other exhibits. So it has a negative effect, just like buildings. So let's do this. Let's do this. Negative. Oh, okay. So if I keep it over here, 
So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need the, the next enclosures. If we do ex enclosures right here, I can't take any walkways that direction, which is no big deal. So we'll do more exhibits and, and enclosures. And then if we're going to expand out with walkways, they can expand out a little further up. All right, so that should, yeah, the water is a bit, let's not take any chances. They've got water bowls, but you never know. Nice, clean water so that not only if they want to go swimming, but if they want to bypass a water bowl, That actually reminds me, I know what I need to do. Uh, they will. There's a cost involved, but this. I don't have to worry about. Him coming and filling it up with water. So let's just do that now. There. Look at that. Nice, clean, clear water. So hopefully, because we've done all the research we can, so that should help. So let's let's just kind of slow down a bit. Let's just make sure we're good here. I don't want the, I don't want the tree. I want the animal. Toy enrichment. We can take care of that. All right, so let's make sure we've got the right, the right animal. Whoops, not the tortoise. I need a toy. Green. Okay, because I don't want to add on any more animals until we've got, okay, so green. You are green. You have what you need. And you guys, how are you? All right, one thing that I want to do is I want to I want to work on the education level. Uh, in facilities, we've got these conservation education boards. Okay. 
My Galapagos tortoise has salmonella, or had salmonella. Oof. All right, take him back. Well, we did our research on that. Thank 
So as you walk into the zoo, I have put down these conservation boards. As they walk by, they will read these, but it will also help with the education factor. So that's going to help me to get my education rating up. I've got one placed there as well, two there. I've got one down here. Or I thought I did. Let's take care of that right now. Let's be in the other direction. So let's do that. And if this is an all negative area, which I believe most of it is, we may end up putting those there as well. Oh, there's one that I did not turn on. Let's get it turned on with, let's say, Climate change, all right? Any other? Nope, I think that's got it. 